it's your guys, Mango Shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be reacting to the 13th episode of Bad Batch. Now, we're three episodes away from the final episode of Season 1, guys, and I'm super excited for the final few episodes, including this one. Last week's episode was amazing. We obviously had Hera and her family, and we were able to... Well, not we talking as if we're playing a game, but <laughs> the Bad Batch were able to save them, thankfully, and we did have some sort of lessons for Hunter um, a little bit, but more character development moments for him uh, to give second chances, I guess, to opportunities of saving people, especially because of Omega, and it was great to see that sort of development of him trusting her. We did see her give him, um, did see him, sorry, give Omega a mission with Hera and we did see uh, both of them getting into trouble and then obviously kicking ass in like that that ship that they had and then tech drifting through space I think that shocked everyone the most last episode like him commenting on Hera's really bad flying and then him doing all these crazy chaotic moves of drifting through space which was really really cool but at the same time I was like tech are you hmm secret life perhaps did you were you a, like a, a drift racer in space or something <laughs> but it was a great episode, la la the last one. I absolutely enjoyed it. And this episode is called Infested, so we're not going to waste any time. Let's just jump straight into it. So before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Ooh. Who are they? Oh! Out, this park and Ord Mantel are now my territory. We're all what do they do to Sid then? What do they do to Sid? Sorry. We are taking it back. We. If I lose, you lose. Don't forget how good I've been at keeping secrets. Mm. When we needed help, we came to Sid. Remember? Now she needs help. We can't just walk away. You tell him, Tiny. So what's your plan? Mm, yeah. Hold on. I love Omega. Don't get me wrong. But she's a little naive in the idea of wanting to help everyone. Just because she doesn't know. Well, she does know. But the stuff about double crossing, I think she just doesn't understand yet. Um, I understand cro Well, crosshair wasn't du like double crossing it was because of the chip or who knows maybe it's just normal personality now that he actually believes in the in the empire but um in terms of like sort of backstabbing or even just like um even the way that she said it, she was technically thre threatening them and you know omega immediately jumped to her aid and was like yeah but like we like we went to her for help now it's our turn to help her of course that's totally okay like yes you should help her if you're a good person but it's understandable why they're being careful because they know that she's very like touch and go and um, she's easy to be like, no, if you don't do this, I'm going to tell everybody about your secret and stuff like that. It's it's very like, hmm, I don't know what to label it as, but it's very difficult behavior to put up with. So that's why even with Hunter and Tech immediately was like, she's threatening us. It, you know, it's difficult. It's a difficult choice to make that decision or just like think about it because it's like, that's that there's that risk on both sides of the sort of like dealing with this situation but yeah <sighs> omega's got a lot to learn <laughs> oh Ugh, this is kind of scary <laughs> the tension just jumps to like a hundred real quick of course what the frick is the hive Oh god, this looks like something out of The Last of Us. Why? Uh, no, no. We're not doing this again. Is this spiders? Because, no, I'm not doing this again. Lovely. Ugh. Oh, oh, the tension jumped really quick there. I think that's Liam O'Brien and um, Sam Regal. It's so cute! Please don't hurt it. I'll be really sad. No! Oh, it's so cute! Oh! Oh, no. They're gonna be way faster. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
Oh! Okay, at least it's not spiders because of the worms. I was like, Ugh. oh! Oh, that's gross. Oh, good job. Ah. Oh, <laughs> no. That's also Liam. He sounds terrifying. Either you correct this great mistake, or you and your entire family will experience what pain truly feels like. Shit. Then, if you know where the spice is, then you should have no problem retrieving it. Until you do, the child stays here. <gasps> no. Oh, look at them! Damn! Two thermal registers. Our best chance is to strike before nightfall. Muscles and I will rappel down into the cavern and locate the crates. I got the kid into this mess, and I'll get her out. Aw, bless her. There's no choice they have to get the spice. Because these guys seem very serious about torturing them if they don't do it. But I'm also scared because um, anything can happen and I'm scared that they'll find out like who Omega is and they'll give her to the Empire. Hopefully that doesn't happen and I hope doesn't nothing happens to Sid because bless even though she's annoying she's a great character. Oh! Ah there is. <laughs> You're the one who took Sid's pallet from here. You take what you want. That's the Durand way. It's a tactic my mother's perfected. So she's a criminal too? Oh, you make it sound so undignified. <laughs> if she saw me now. Whoa! They were merciful. For a second I was like, damn, they weren't dark, but they were being merciful. Oh, I still feel bad for him. Just a little. Come on, boys. Because imagine the shame. Why did you stick up for him after what he did? I don't know. Ruby likes him. <laughs> Maybe he's not all bad. Oh, bless her. I did like that she did do that, and I did feel bad for him. Nice. Another great episode. Gotta turn this off. Okay. <laughs> but that was a great episode. I know it was diverging, obviously, from sort of like the main story. I feel like the last two episodes have been sort of main story involving all the Empire, Crosshair, everything. And then this was sort of like a bit of a breather being like, oh, this is what's going on with Sid. And I like that. It's not too much. Because even I was thinking like, are we going to actually pick up from where we left off where Crosshair is going after them? But thankfully, I like that we got this breather. It's good because, again, character development for Omega and even for Sid and for many of the other characters who was in this show... And it was great. It was a really good episode. I had, again, like the cinematography, this again, this show, the animation is on another level. The art is incredible and it deserves a lot of awards. Like sound design, ugh, the hive were disgusting, but the sound design for them was really well done. Ugh, but good job. <laughs> I did like the story that we got with Roland Duran. I'm not sure. I feel like we've met him before other than the Bad Batch, but I don't remember him. Um, wait, I just want to see. No, it seems like this is the first time we're seeing him, but I like that we sort of got a bit of his backstory, like how his family is running, and just like 
how he's inspired by his mother to do just the same thing as she did, apparently. And I love that we sort of had, I'm not sure about everybody else, you guys can comment and tell me, but I did feel bad for him, like he was trying to sort of live up to the name of his family, and it did feel very, like, shameful at the end, where, you know, I actually thought he got killed, and I was like, damn, that's so dark, but instead he got, like, one of the horns cut off, and I feel like that was really, like, sort of like an act of shame, I guess, like, walking back and then leaving probably that planet to return to his family with one less horn. I feel like that would be really shameful to his family name. So I wonder what's going to happen if we'll see him again. Because it was really interesting. And that we got to see sort of Omega taken that, you know, not, not all, like, and even like we see this with a lot of characters. Like, not all guys are bad. Or like, a lot of people have a lot of, like, feelings and even just like, um, what is it? Um, intentions behind it. So like they want to maybe make their family proud or they want to make themselves proud or they want to show everybody that they're capable of doing something. And I think that was such an interesting motivation for him that it sort of did make me sympathize, like not as a bad person, but like as someone who also wants to make people proud and especially my family, like that's also was like, oh God, like I feel that too, even though it was a very different sense of him taking over Sid's place and then trying to deal with a very bad sort of people, it was like, ugh, that, those people, I definitely know that Liam O'Brien was dealing with, <laughs> was acting as Pike, and I was like, damn, that's, like, the Pikes, you do not want to mess with, they like, the fact that they killed everybody, all the guards, and then he was the only one left, like, ugh, they're very dangerous. <laughs> Again, the, this, this episode was really good in terms of, like, the pacing was really good, and then also just the... <laughs> The tension, they they know how to do it now. They're really, really good at it. I think they've learned a lot from, like, The Mandalorian, even Clone Wars towards the very end. They've learned a lot of lessons in how to build the tension up key by key. And they did it really well. Because in all honesty, I thought the episode was going to end right before we went off with Sid again. And I was like, oh, okay, this might be where we continue next episode. But then I was like, oh, wait, no, we're doing it this episode. So it was nice that we got that introduction with the hive. Ugh, and then we continued with that. And there was still that fear. Like, they still had that built-up tension, especially with the sound effects and stuff in the second part of the hive. I was like, what? Yep, yeah, I'm still on edge. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> But it was great. I loved this episode. Again, it was very much a breather. And it did give us a lot of time to sort of inspect Sid as a character. Just because, like, even I was worried that she was going to backstab him and then blame it all on the Bad Batch. But I love how she sort of, like, stopped the Pikes from killing them. And being like, just go along with it. I'll help you guys. Like, this is on me. And I love that she took responsibility. Because I was worried, like, she'll blame it on them. But she was the bigger person. And she said, no, this is my fault. I will retrieve the spices with Rekka. And we will go down and do it. And that's why I actually was scared for a second that she would sacrifice herself or something. But thankfully, it didn't come to that. My favorite part was that standoff moment in the Bad Batch. Immediately, the moment Omega was threatened, boom, all the boys are just like, nope. Do not even try it. And just, oh, I loved that moment. That was really, really good. And again, this show is so beautiful. And I hope that, I'm not sure, well, I'm not sure if they have awards for animations, but I hope that it wins something because it's so good. And it's just, it's a great, great show. And it deserves so much love. And it's, yeah. I can't wait for next week's episode. Whether it's something that's off the storyline or if it's just like another side episode sort of like this. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Bad Batch, episode 13. Again, I really enjoyed it, but I want to hear your thoughts on this story so far. Again, I love this story and I love the Bad Batch so much. I've become connected to them so much and I want to hear your opinions on how the season has been going for you guys. We are getting to the end. We've got three more episodes left and it's going real quick already. Like I thought this is going to be for a long time but I'm already like oh god we're nearly at the end and we're gonna have to wait for a second season which I'm excited for but at the same time it's like they're gonna probably leave us on a big cliffhanger so <laughs> I'm trying to like mentally and like emotionally prepare myself but let me know what you guys think i'd love to hear your opinions on the show and um yeah again i love this episode and yeah i cannot wait for next week's episode so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy makeup out Woo!